the national overseer talk to us in the keynote uh, address. Our daddy, Pastor Joseph Obayemi. Yes, let's give a round of applause. But our daddy could not come for a reason perhaps the representative is going to tell us. But he has graciously, in honor to this body administrator, in recognition of the significance of this gathering, he has sent one of the provincial pastors, pastor in charge of province, pastor in charge Lagos, Province 17, Pastor Adiago Akinlabi, who is going to just give him a standing ovation because he's representing the National Overseer and uh, he is to give the keynote address and then thereafter some of our delegates from other nations will be giving you us some words of welcome and some senior pastors also here with in our midst. Pastor Adiago, you are welcome to our midst. Shall we pray? Eternal Father, we acknowledge your presence here. Thank you so much for the ways and manner through which you have been dealing with us. Thank you, Eternal Father, for bringing us into the second quarters of the year 2019. Thank you for the first three months of this year. Thank you for today being the first day of another month. We glorify you, Lord, and we say, be thou lifted up, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Eternal King of glory, we commit this period of time unto your able hands. We pray that you take preeminence in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that each and every one of us, you will give us the opportunity to live here better than the way we came in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, almighty God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I want to bless the name of the Almighty God for our leaders on seat at the high table, most especially the HGO admin and personnel in absentia, and the director of admin and personnel, Pastor Adigborioye. All other facilitators, we say the Almighty God will renew your strength in the mighty name of Jesus. As you have heard, I'm to step in into a very big shoe this afternoon. I was called upon by Daddy that I should come around to represent him due to the fact that he has another assignment which he must fulfill. And that is why he has decided to send me here. And I pray that the anointing of the earth will surely work for me in this assignment in the mighty name of Jesus. So pray along with me as I deliver the keynote address of the National Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God at the 2019 International Conference of RCCG Administrators on the topic entitled Think Global, Act Local. In his greetings, he said, on this occasion of the 2019 conference of the RCCG administrators that he gave the um, he is given the almighty God all glory, all honor, and all adoration for making it possible for each and every one of us to be here. And he appreciate the almighty God for the journey message granted unto us to be here at this particular time. And he prays that the almighty God will make us better administrators after this program in the mighty name of Jesus. 
his introduction. He said, thinking globally and acting locally has become a phenomenon, phenomenon in our world. And the reason is simply because the world is now termed as a global village. Anything that is happening anywhere on the planet Earth could be seen or could be viewed by any other person anywhere in the world, provided the material things that ought to be used are readily available. And because of that, it is now becoming increasingly difficult to ignore all over the world the issue of going global. And if anybody will say that he or she is not interested in going global, that individual may be deceiving himself or herself. Every enterprise in the global world is faced with the challenge of maintaining the originality and personal identity. Why, at the same time, they are commanding the global view. And with that, it is necessary that each and every one of us, if we want to remain relevant, if we want to be the administrator of the present time, we also we need to think globally, and at the same time, we need to act locally. Keynote, in the book of Proverbs, the book of Proverbs chapter 2, verse 7, we, the Bible made it known unto us that as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. That is to say, you are the product of your thoughts. If you think in a positive way, you become a positive man. But if you think negatively, hardly can anybody be able to reckon with one. It is therefore my prayer that the ability to think in a positive way, the Almighty God will grant unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. If we apply this word, literally to our team of today, we will discover that we cannot exercise action and practices from the world we are without being global. What are we saying? Each and every one of us What was applicable in so many years back is not what is applicable at the present moment. Take for example, formerly we have only the classical church in the redeemed Christian Church of God. But in late 80s, the modern church came into existence. Later, in the late 90s, 1996, what we refer to as the mixture of both the classical and the modern image, being referred to as the commando, which gave birth to the unity parishes. And later, as the year is rolling by, in the late 2000s, to be specific, 2008, 2009, that the GO said, that is now time for us to begin what we refer to as young adults, uh, youth church and young adults. And that is almost 10 years ago. He has seen the future. He recognized that if we fail to take care of the generation that are yet coming, we may be done for. And because of that, he has a thought which he decided to put into a vision, 
which he decided to share to people of like-minded. So many people were against it then, against the model parish. So many people were against the class model. So many people were against the youth standing all alone. But as of today, we can see that without the establishment of those parishes of them, there is no way by which the redeemed Christian Church of God could be recognized globally. If any one of us would like to think globally and act locally, what would that individual do? As administrator in the redeemed Christian Church of God, he should be taking note that as of now, the redeemed Christian Church of God has a global relevance. A local parish here in Nigeria, through the electronic means, so many other people elsewhere can know what is happening at that local parish. But if somebody is not competent in that area, that individual may remain locally. In your delivery as an administrator, Therefore, for you to be able to make global impact, you must key in onto the vision of the redeemed Christian Church of God. But key in to the vision and mission statement of the redeemed Christian Church of God does not mean that you do the things as it used to be done. You try as much as possible to put in certain element of change that will not rock off what had already been put in place. And it is my prayer that the Almighty God will help us on this level in the mighty name of Jesus. What is therefore required of an administrator of today? If an administrator will think globally and act locally, the first thing that we need to take cognizance of is we must understand that there is no more geographical boundary. Formerly in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, if you are a pastor in Ogun State, take for example, you may not be allowed to go and establish a parish in either in the north or in the eastern part. But today, everywhere you have the opportunity to have the facility, to have the human resources, and to have the means of putting up a church, if only you can maintain the standard, is your geographical location. Likewise, an administrator that we think globally and that individual we also act locally, he or she must understand that geographical boundaries no longer exist for the purpose of doing one's work. For example, Jethro, the in-law of Moses, Ask a question from his daughters. They went out, and their father discovered that they came earlier than normal. He asked from them, how come by that you are now at home at this particular time? And the response of the daughter of Jethro unto him, according to the book of Exodus chapter 2, in verse 19, the Bible says, And they said, An Egyptian, an Egyptian, deliver us out of the hand of the shepherd. And also, he draw water, and he gave water unto our flock. What is that one telling us? Moses happens to be an Hebrew man. 
But after his delivery, by divine arrangement, he was handed over to the princess of Egypt. And he tried as much as possible to make sure that he acclimatized himself onto the custom, onto the rudiments, onto the tradition of the Egyptian people. And because of that, the daughters of Jethro could not recognize him as an Hebrew person, simply because he has mixed up with them. He knows everything about their culture. He can speak their language. He can dress the way they dressed. And because of that, when he saw the need for those ladies to be assisted, he decided to render a helping hand unto them. And because he did that, Esther also happens to be a slave girl in a strange land. It is, I think it was global, but he did, she did not forget where she was coming from. She decided to dress the way they dress. She decided to, to do things according to the way and tradition of the nation where she found herself. And because of that, she was able to be reckoned with. Gone are those days when a missionary will go to a particular place and the type of local food that those people that he has gone to win for the Lord Jesus Christ, he will tell them that I can't eat that. One must be able to adjust. So, number one thing that an administrator that we think globally and act locally must know is that there is no more geographical boundary. Another thing that we need to take cognizance of is that we must see this world, the whole world, as our own platform. See it as our own platform. We must see it as if it is within our reach. There is nothing an individual cannot avail himself to do once that thing is godly. But if an individual will do something godly, that individual must see the world as a platform. Not only as a platform, but you must see yourself as being within that platform. You must have a global vision and learn to adapt Adaptation will make you to be able to do things according to how it ought to be done in the modern day. And how will this one come up? If we look at the book of Genesis chapter 41, Genesis chapter 41 in verse 8, Pharaoh had a dream and he was burdened simply because he looked all around and he could not locate anyone who would be able to interpret that dream to him. But in chapter 40, a young man had already made use of his talent in the prison and he was of the opinion that through the person that he assisted, God will take him out of the prison yard. But God doesn't work in that way. But because this young man, he saw the global world as a platform. And he decided to allow himself to be useful within that platform. He was elevated. In the book of Genesis chapter 41, if we read it from verse 36 through verse 40, when this young man got to the palace, he enumerated things that are supposed to be done. 
He did not only inform the king of the dream. He did not only interpret the dream unto the king, but he also provides solution that if the king can do this, if he can do that, then there will be solution. But not only for that country alone, but for the whole world. And because he made himself available, having seen the whole world as a platform for him which we, within which he can operate, he helped himself out. In Genesis chapter 41, if you read it from 41 downward, you will discover that after the interpretation and given the probable solutions, the king told him that there is no other individual that is qualified to take hold of that position. There and then, he was able to get an appointment that he did not apply for. Through that, he was also able to get a wife that he did not pay a dime for. He was able to get an official car and he got an official driver. He also became the second in command in a strange land, simply because he discovered that the global world is a platform under which or within which he can also operate. For us to remain relevant, for us not to be outdated, we also we must see the whole world as a global platform under which we can operate. Number three thing, one of the major reasons why Global View has taken over cannot be separated from the revolution that began during the advancement, the social advancement, and so on and so forth. And in my place of work, in your place of work, there are certain things that the leadership may request from us. If we are up and doing in that area or in that perspective, then we will remain relevant. The issue of information and communication technology cannot be ruled out. If at this level of us, there are certain things that we're supposed to learn, we need to learn it. If there are certain things that we have learned, but we have learned, but we cannot even be competent in them, we need to go back. Never you feel ashamed. Even if it is your five-year-old boy, or your five-year, your 10-year, 20-year-old girl, let him or I teach you that thing. Somebody made the test of a man, and that man told that young girl that he was the teacher unto your mother, that he taught his father also, that now the fact that he has come unto that young boy to learn is simply because he wants to be, to remain relevant in his or her feed. It is therefore my prayer that as we see ourselves and as we play our role effectively, the Almighty God will take us to places in the mighty name of Jesus. Number 14, that an administrator that we think globally and act locally must do is to have a spirit of I can, I can do it. I can do it. Have the spirit of I can. If you decide that you want to know a thing and you decide to learn and you decide to make yourself available, then 
automatically you will be able to do it. Failure is only for those people who accept it. If an individual refuses to fail, then failure will run away from that individual. Have the spirit of I can. In the book of Genesis chapter 11, verse 6, Genesis chapter 11, verse 6, and the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do, and nothing will be restrained from them, simply because they have imagined to do it. Have a positive mindset that you can do it. Have the positive mindset that that thing could be done by you. And if you have the positive mindset, you are to work towards achieving your target. The starting place of having I can, I can do it spirit is your own thoughts and imagination. As a man think within himself, as a man determine within himself, as a man imagine that he can succeed, if that individual work towards it, he will definitely succeed. And it is my prayer that as we have I can attitude, as we exhibit the I can spirit, I pray that the Almighty God will grant us success in the mighty name of Jesus. Another thing that we need to take cognizance of is we should not allow our humble beginning to defeat or to allow us to remain on the same spot. Somebody said, don't allow your background to put your back on the ground. What is that one saying? Everyone called by God may have one shortcoming or the other. But despite that shortcoming, if the Almighty God has decided to use a man, if that individual decides to make himself available, and he is teachable, and he is faithful, the Almighty God will definitely make use of him. When God called Moses at the age of 80, he told God that is not eloquent, but the Almighty God said, I'm going to use you. He placed a destiny helper beside him. When he called that young man in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 4, Jeremiah, Jeremiah told God that God, I'm too young, but the Almighty God said that he will make use of him. In the book, in the, in the book of Genesis, when he called Noah, Noah was at the age of 500 years when the Almighty God called him. And God revealed to him that something that has never happened before will soon happen. God told him, gave him an assignment. And he went about doing that assignment for a period of 100 years. At the age of 600, the flood began. But because this man did, did not allow his age, this man did not allow his inadequacies to debar him from being used because he made himself available, the Almighty God made use of him. Don't be afraid to start in a small way. In the book of Job chapter 8, verse 7, the book of Job chapter 8, verse 7, the Bible says, Though thy beginning was small, yet thy latter end should greatly increase. Start in a small way. Don't say because you don't have this certificate or you don't have that, you can still work on yourself. I can work on myself. And as we do that, I pray that we will go places and we will remain relevant 
in the mighty name of Jesus. You have to be bold and you have to encourage yourself. You need to make preparation because private preparation will definitely lead to public manifestation. Show me an individual who refused to prepare himself and I tell you that that individual will remain locally. That individual will remain on the same spot. It is my prayer that as you get yourself prepared, the Almighty God will make available every resources needed in the mighty name of Jesus. Number 16, you are to constantly strive to improve yourself. Constantly strive to improve yourself. We thank God that we have leaders that are not just telling us what we need to do but they are also serving as pathfinders for us. Majority of our leaders, as they are finishing one course of study, they register for another. Don't ever think that where will the money come? Wherever there is a will, there is always a way. As you get yourself, as you strive to improve yourself, I pray that the Almighty God will allow the provisions to come in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, the National Overseer said that the conference of last year, the team was entitled No Bands. And he said he believed strongly that this year, with the team thinking global, globally and acting locally, the Almighty God has decided to choose this topic so as for each and every one of us, not only to be empowered, but to be able to be built and also to be consolidated, to be relevant in the assignment that the Almighty God has given unto us. In conclusion, the National Overseer said, as I conclude, we need to understand that the competition in the global setup of today will only allow somebody who has prepared himself, somebody who has decided to be useful, somebody who has decided to learn, to unlearn, and to relearn. For him to be able to get to where God is taking him to, he must think globally and also act in a local way. To summarize what our daddy has asked us to tell us, he made it known unto us, that there are key things that we need to know as an administrator. That number one, we must understand that there is no more geographical boundary. You can formally do your work in the office, but now, as you are seated, you can also do your work here for those people that are in the office. So there is no more geographical boundary. Anywhere you find yourself, you can do your work from there. It is not until you get to the four wall of the office or it is until when you get to your table before you do your work. Number two, he said that we are to see the world as a platform within which you and I can operate. Number three thing, he told us that we are to try as much as possible to make sure that we get ourselves improved in ICT, Information and Communication Technology, because that is where this world is heading to. And for one to be relevant, 
one must be conversant with that. Number four, he said that you should have a positive mindset. The spirit of I can. The spirit of I can. You must determine within you that you will not be a failure. A failure. Number five, he said we must not allow our humble beginning to serve as a hindering factor or a barrier to our progress. Even if our beginning is small, with determination, with preparation, with making ourselves available, we can still reach the height that the Almighty God wants us to get to. And number six, he said that we should constantly strive to improve ourselves. And as we do all this, the Almighty God will make us relevant the more, and we will never miss the goal of making heaven at the end in Jesus' name. So thank you so much. Shall we please rise to our feet? Father, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for the ways and manner through which you have spoken unto us. Thank you, King of Glory, for thus far you have helped us. You are the God of yesterday, you are still the God of today, and you are the God of the future. Father, we pray that the grace to continue well in a way that you have decided for us. And so as for us to be the type of administrator that you have proposed that we should be, release upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. As we humble ourselves before you, as we decide even to get ourselves prepared, as we decide to be up and doing, as we do your work diligently, we pray that your grace will continue to be sufficient for us in the mighty name of Jesus. As we get ourselves acclimatized onto the environment where we are located, with the mindset of reaching out globally, we pray that you will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. We will not fail you, the living God. We will not fail our generation. And at the end of the day, you will count us worthy of your kingdom. Thank you, almighty God. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. If you agree that Pastor Adia Gwakilabi has done justice in the presentation of Daddy Obayemi's paper, just as if Daddy himself is here, I was telling the director, Daddy is a meticulous person and detailed. Let's put him, give him a round of applause again. So I want to really appreciate you. We, 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 we saw the way you broke the details down and we believe we have been more challenged, our mind has been blown to do the needful, to improve our outlook to the calling and the work and the grace as, of, as, as the work of administration God has given us. Thank you very much. God bless you. Let's put hands together for him. Uh, may you're clapping louder because you are clapping for yourself also. I just thank God for your life. It shows that things are getting better and better and better. We want to round off the, this session. But before we round off, you check your program guide. Every key thing that ought to be done today will be done. But we want some people to pay greetings to us. I'll talk to my brother. Where are you now, the man from Eckert? Uh, they are our colleagues in other nations.